welcome back to Aubrey Books and Coffee. Please grab your favorite beverage of choice and join me. Today we're going to unbox the September Fairy Loot Crate. I always love getting these. I mean, I know I say that about just about every box because I do. I feel like a kid at Christmas. But I really like Fairy Loot because they always give us gorgeous books with sprayed and stenciled edges. And they give us such fun, fun artwork and fun items inside there. So let's open this on up and take a look. Oh, and yep, look at that. Oh my gosh. The spoiler card has gorgeous artwork, and I already love this box just for that. Oh my gosh. All right. So I'm going to grab the biggest item in here first, and it looks like it's a blanket and six crimson cranes, which I absolutely love because that's a five-star read for me, and I could always use blankets. It says the art is by afterblossom.art. Oh. And if you haven't read this yet, you need to. <laughs> Six Crimson Cranes is great. And currently for this month, I am reading The Dragon's Promise, which is the sequel. And so far, I'm really liking it. So moving on, it looks like we have a little container and package here. I'll try not to make too terrible much noise. All right. And it looks like it says... Death was her poison, and all she wanted was to be consumed more. Oh. And you open it up. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's got like a little thing here. So I'm going to open that, too. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, that little tin is so cute. And it says this is a... Belladonna T10, uh, designed by at Chatty Nora and inspired by the book of this month, which you'll find at the bottom of your box. Ah. Um, I don't drink tea, so this will be going in the giveaway for when we have our drawing for our 100 subscribers when we reach that. All right. Next, it looks like we've got some Botanic Coasters. Ooh, okay. I do love some coasters. Oh, you guys, those are precious. It feels like they're wood, like a thin wood, and then they've got the kind of cork board on the bottom. And this is the first one. And then we have this one. And then we've got, ooh, some nightshade. <laughs> and last but not least, some foxglove. And it says that these coasters were designed by at Stella Bookish Art and will transport you right into the ancient apothecary. Nice, but it says beware of poisonous flowers. <laughs> I think that's really cute. Um, I don't need coasters, so this also is up for grabs when we do our next drawing. So then it looks like there is, oh, a trinket tray. Oh, these end up being so cute usually. So I'm gonna open that up. Maybe, you know, sometimes. <laughs> I feel like these are childproof. <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay. Very nice. It says this is a Cardin trinket dish designed by at ours 28. This completes our character trinket dish collection. And it is the beloved Prince Cardin from the Folk of the Air series by Holly Black. And I actually have not read that series. So that's going to be one of those I need to read because of bookish items. Oh, but that is so pretty. Um, I kept the other one because it was a series I actually love and read. Um, having not read this one, it's up for grabs, you guys, because that is just too precious, and I want to keep that available for someone who loves that series. And then, of course, we have the tarot art cards. So I'm trying to get through all the little fuzzies to get down to those. 
And wow, those are beautiful. We have death and we have the hanged man, which in this case is a woman, I think. Pretty sure. <laughs> and so it says on here, the tarot card set features Cigna as the hanged man and death as the death card. The characters are from Belladonna by Adeline Grace and were illustrated by at ours 28. Very nice. And again, I like to keep these prints in my little print keepsake book up there. The book itself, I am opening now. Oh my goodness, you guys. The little art card with the author's message is gorgeous. Look at that. Kind of reminds me of Beauty and the Beast. Oh, that is so cool. And the book is called Belladonna by Adeline Grace. That is a beautiful cover. Your name is no curse, little bird. I just like the taste of it. <laughs> and you got a little glimpse there of the sprayed and stenciled edges. All oh, those are so pretty. I'm taking off the cover here. It is not a reversible dust jacket, but we do have art here printed on the book itself. So you could go completely without the dust jacket. There's inside art. Oh my goodness. And the back page is different. I always love when it's different like that. Looks like we do have the signature. And I just am excited because this is just so pretty. And I'm going to actually read a little bit excerpt. It looks like uh, Cigna was orphaned as a baby. And at 19, she's been raised by a string of guardians, each more interested in her wealth and her well-being. And each has met an untimely end. I'm not even going to finish reading the excerpt because that already pulls me in. And it kind of reminds me a little bit of Lemony Snicket's series of unfortunate events, doesn't it? Where you've got um, the kids that have this fortune and all these different people, you know, are trying to take care of them. But they keep mysteriously dying. So I don't know. I just think that's really cute. I think this was a really fun box. I thought the book was beautiful and fun items, mostly for you guys. So stay tuned, like, subscribe, send your friends. Let's get to 100 so we can draw another few names. Take care. Thank you.